Hello and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Today's topic is gifts for your future. Thank you for watching The Softer Side Storytelling Therapy and Life Coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. So do something today that your future self will thank you for. Toby and I did do a live coaching video on this topic, Gifts for Your Future, and we talked about some of the things that we should be thinking about today in order to build a more prosperous, brighter future for ourselves. During that coaching video, we had some questions from the people in the chat room who said, why do we have to strive so hard? Why can't we just go with the flow? So we wanted to talk a little bit more about that and how we need to have goals in our life. We need to have a reason to move forward, to evolve, uh, so that our future does become the future that we want and not just a repeat of what we have. It's so important to have a clear and compelling reason for what you're doing because it keeps you going through the inevitable turmoil that will occur between where you are now and achieving your dreams. If your reason is money to purchase stuff, a vacation or a lifestyle, it's not compelling enough. If you want to be successful just to enjoy a comfortable lifestyle, you're not going to be willing to go through the necessary discomfort inherent in achieving your goals just to have that comfort. You're never going to work as hard as you have to work to get to your goal of working less. The journey to get there is incongruent and the opposite of why you're doing it. The cost is more than the reward. A compelling and clear reason is so much stronger than all our excuses. For some people, it's taking care of their family, retiring their husbands or their wives, moving into a bigger, better house or neighborhood, or helping their aging parents. When you feel that conviction of your purpose, you know that it's compelling enough because nothing you have to go through to get it matters. Your future is worth it. What if your reason isn't compelling enough? Create one that is. You have to dig deep and figure out what is really important to you. Ask yourself, how does pushing toward your imperative goal move you further away from suffering? Create a reason that generates an emotion that will overcome doubt, frustration, laziness, and confusion. When your reason is truly compelling and creates a driving determination for you, everything else becomes clearer. You don't waste time. You get to work knowing your purpose and committing to it. Commitment means you have a willingness to be uncomfortable, that all other options are removed, and the necessary steps are non-negotiable. To fully commit immediately invites risk. Your compelling reason is what will make that risk worth taking. By accepting that risk and honoring your commitment, you will become more resilient, more determined, and more successful. These results will add fuel to your compelling reason and increase your desire to evolve. Jim Rohn said, the major reason for setting a goal is for what it makes of you to accomplish it. What it makes of you will always be the far greater value than what you get. Roy T. Bennett said, if you have a strong purpose in life, you don't have to be pushed. Your passion will drive you there. W. Clement Stone said, Definiteness of purpose is the starting point of all achievement. 
Now let's hear the story of the life we built. My grandpa Lewis was a carpenter. When he reached the age of 65, he was ready to retire. He told his employer of his plans to leave the business and start a life of leisure with my grandma Dorothy, who was in poor health. He wanted to be present for her in these last years of her life. He would miss the money, but the time was right and he was ready to hang up his hammer. His boss was disappointed because Grandpa Lewis had been a loyal and diligent worker for many years, so he was sad to see him retire. His boss asked for a special favor, requesting that Grandpa Lewis build one last house before retiring. Grandpa Lewis agreed, but it was soon clear that his heart wasn't in it. He just wanted to be done with work and focus on Grandma Dorothy and relaxing at home with her. Grandpa Lewis took shortcuts, used inferior materials, and put in a half-hearted effort. He was in a hurry to finish this last house, and his frustrated attitude was reflected in the crooked walls and marred finish. I shouldn't have to work any more. My wife needs me at home. I've done my part. It's somebody else's turn now. I'm too old for this. I just want to relax. I think I've earned that. His excuses piled up until they completely buried his work ethic and integrity. Although he had agreed to build this one last house for his employer, he certainly wasn't committed to doing his best work. Grandpa Lewis finally finished his work on the house. He called his boss to let him know it was done and he wanted to retire at last. In the end, the final product was well short of his usual standards. It was a disappointing way to end his career. When he heard the job was finished, his employer came to inspect the work. He noticed the mismatched baseboards and all the other obvious mistakes in the house. He was surprised and a little confused, but he didn't say anything to Grandpa Lewis about it. Then he handed the keys to Grandpa Lewis and said, This is your house. It's my gift to you. I hope you enjoy relaxing with your wife here in this home throughout your retirement years. Grandpa Lewis was shocked and embarrassed. He looked around the house he had built with the eyes of a new owner and saw all the blatant imperfections and now unacceptable flaws. If only he had known he would be living in this space. He would have made sure that everything was done with precision and thoughtfulness. If he had realized the consequences, he would have demanded excellence from himself. That's when he vowed to make things right and fix the mistakes in his work. For years, Grandpa Lewis had to undo all the poor choices he had made when he built those walls. Instead of relaxing in his retirement, He woke up every day and pulled something apart to rebuild it again. That's when he truly understood that committing to your goals and having an attitude of diligence matters. Not just to his employer, but to himself. Not just for today, but for his entire future. So what do you think? We are all in the process of building our lives. Are you building wisely for your future? What is your compelling reason for achieving your goals? As I said, some of our viewers had said, why should I be working so hard? Why can't I just go with the flow? When we just go with the flow and don't pay attention to what we're doing every day, don't put conscious effort into growing and evolving and becoming more, better, and having a brighter future, then everything will stay the same. Or if we're very lax, it might get worse. When we really focus and commit to our goals, 
and believe in a brighter, better future for ourselves, we can create that. So it's basically a decision we all have to make. What do we want our future to look like? And what am I willing to do now to make that happen? What gifts can I give my future self? Thank you for watching today. And again, this set of slides is available in esofterside.com in the member vault there for free if you would like to download the slides and watch the video there. And there's a lesson attached with it there as well. So it's a great opportunity for you to go over this material as a lesson. Perhaps share it with your family, friends, or social group if it's something that you feel is really important. I appreciate you being here today and for the softer side, I will see you again very soon. I'm Shelley Carney. I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. This mini course provides tips, exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.